Hey guys, Cara Beroncini here at the Regent Theatre in Melbourne for the king of all musicals. Of course, I am talking about The Lion King. Now, I last saw this show 10 years ago. Wrap your mind around that. And I'm ready to relive all the magic. So let me take you inside Pride Rock and the world of The Lion King. It's Nala. This is Jocelyn Genty. Got it. Yes. I cannot tell you how honoured I am to meet you. You just represent so much. I'm going to get emotional, but I'm going to compose myself. You represent so much female empowerment in the theatre world. And to me, it was just a big honour. Oh, thank you so much. It's, it's, it's a privilege being in this costume, being on the stage, um, playing Nala. As, I, as you've just said, it, it represents everything that is strong and that is just. Um, as females and you know we don't always get the opportunity on the in theater to play those roles it's always male dominant uh, I'm dominated and I'm just grateful um, for this opportunity to, to be on the stage and represent all that is woman tell me about Garth Fagan's inspiration obviously the movie there is no dancing whatsoever how on earth did he conceptualize the movie to the stage considering all the dancers are representing animals Yes, um, Garth Fagan has a dance company based in Rochester, New York, Garth Fagan Dance. And he brings his Jamaican roots, bring, he brings African roots, as well as a little bit of Broadway and contemporary modern and jazz dance to the, um, to the Lion King. So it's very international, um, all the influences that he brings in. The dancers here are amazing. Amazing dancers in Australia, a great technical, technical background. Um, some of the movements is new to Australia, like the African Ibongas, the contemporary movement. It's new, but they adjusted really fast, really quickly, and I think they look beautiful. Simba, you're a Disney prince, officially a Disney prince in the animal form. How does that make you feel? Well, I've never heard of it um, explained like that before, but it's, it's pretty cool. Performing night after night in such a strong masculine role. How is that sort of translated into your everyday life as Nick? Well, I think that's a good question. I think I try to make Simba as much like me as I can, um, while still staying true to the character that the creatives want. Um, and yeah, I just I just try and try and be natural and try and be true and find different truths um, in my scenes. Obviously, The Lion King has won numerous amounts of, of Tony Awards back in 1998. What does that mean for a show like The Lion King? It's one of the most famous Disney musicals to date. Um, it's amazing to see it now after, I don't know, since opening in 1997, still maintain the original choreography from day one and to be able to play part and take part in maintaining that decade after decade is such an honour. We're here guys, it is the Melbourne red carpet premiere of The Lion King, one of the most incredible shows. I'm here to show you the star-studded and celebrity infested red carpet. Let's take a sneak peek. Lebo, you are one of the musical masterminds behind this incredible musical. How does it make you feel knowing that you make me cry every time I see this show or listen to this soundtrack? <laughs> <laughs> well, look at it, this way, I cry too, so we're off. Yeah, actually I do. I mean, from the time we did the movie to the Broadway show, I have to relive the same moments all the time for, what, almost 20 years? And it's exciting because one relives the moment with so many people around the world. Uh, every time I go to opening of a Lion King or a rehearsal of the Lion King, it's really, really unbelievable that it feels like the first time. I went to the bar. You went to the Africa? You dress in theme a little bit. I got a leopard g-string on. That's. <gasps> Can you give us a sneak peek? That's good. I just want to like have a little trio sing along. Play this off. What a lovely partner I have. I mean, who wants Bert when I've got Sam? <laughs> we just won't tell Bert that, will we? <laughs> you have your own Lion King love story. I want my Lion King love story. Oh, Wimbo, oh Wimbo, oh Wimbo. Oh, 
rest of your day. <laughs> I saw a little slip uh, at the Tony Awards when I was over there in New York, so to see the actual production in such a glorious theatre, I'm very excited. Can you give me your best gazelle move? Oh my god, no. Absolutely. Come on, go Matt! <laughs> I am really looking forward to seeing it in Melbourne. I just love coming to the theatre here. <laughs> Shana likes Pumba, guys. Pumba, Pumba. Have you got a good zebra for me? Come on now. What is a zebra? Give me a good zebra. What is it? Don't they just act like gazelles as well? <laughs> Potential wedding in Melbourne, perhaps, just to bring the symbolism all together. Yeah, no, that's a production. The Lion King is now showing at the Region Theatre in Melbourne and this is one of the most extravagant and visual spectacles that you will ever see. It gets me teary every time and I want you guys to come and feel the joy that I feel when I see this show. I'll see you next time.